Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. This is my Polaroid SX70. If we're talking about just design, this is easily my favorite camera that I own in my collection. This was gifted to me by my good friend Wesley, and I've only talked about this thing once in a video in the past. So today I wanted to make a video where I can go out and shoot some pictures with this thing, but also talk a little bit about the camera and what I like and don't like about it. First of all, I have to talk about this collapsing design. The fact that this camera folds up into this weird, triangular camera is just incredible to me. There's a huge mirror inside here. On the front, you have a focus wheel and you can see the lens actually moving. So it's a true focusing camera. And over here, you basically have your light meter control. And then over here, you have your shutter button. On the back is this viewing prism that goes down into the mirror. This optical path from subject to eye is unique to this single lens reflex system. Just like that, easily one of the coolest cameras ever designed. That being said, one of the first things you notice when you look through this camera because of how big the mirror is inside here is really just how detailed and bright this rangefinder is. It's super fun to shoot with this thing because this has easily one of the biggest mirrors in any camera I've seen. The Polaroid SX70 film that you can buy for this camera now is completely different to what it once was. It's a whole new company, still called Polaroid, but the whole formula is entirely different. And I'll talk more about that, as well as some other results that I've shot with this thing later. But for now, I'm gonna head to Jersey, where we can take some pictures with this thing out in the world and get some sample photos to show you. While I'm taking these photos, I'll talk a little bit about the camera as well. In terms of functionality, this camera is super easy to operate and focusing is really easy and clear as well. But I'm not sure if my copy specifically has this issue or it's because of a change in the film, but my light meter is not very accurate in this camera. I basically always have to turn the Polaroid's darker. So if you look at this wheel right here, this is what it looks like when you open the camera and I always have to lean it towards the dark side because otherwise I get overexposed Polaroids. That's not so much of an issue. Um, once you figure that out and once you take a lot of test shots with this thing, it works really great and it's a ton of fun to use. Now, as you're watching some of these photos, one thing you'll notice is that there's always a really strong green or magenta cast to the images. And there's two things that can vary this. Number one is the way the film handles under and over exposure. I feel like this film is not as capable with its latitude as previous Polaroid SX70 film was. And also it's really easy for this film to be affected by temperature. If you develop it too hot or too cold after it comes out of the camera, it can turn really green or really magenta. The last thing is pretty much the developing time with the film. So it takes about 15 minutes to fully see the image. And then even I feel like the next day, I still see the film slightly changing from those first initial 15 minutes. So it definitely takes a long time to develop and the colors aren't perfect, but I'm very thankful that Impossible, which is now Polaroid, has still made this film for this camera and makes it possible to still use these things. I have to say, if you're interested in one of these, there's a great local company here in Brooklyn called Brooklyn Film Camera. They specialize in selling these cameras. They specialize in Polaroid film and also repairing these things. So definitely check them out. I'll have them linked down below. They're an incredible little company and definitely a cool business to support. So like I said, I'm very thankful for Impossible, now Polaroid, making this film still and making it possible to shoot this kind of format still. And I've had some incredible results, mostly in artificial lighting with their film, as well as with this camera. So I'll show you some of those photos now and hopefully those give you a good idea of what this film is capable of.
of those were shot on the RZ67 as well, but I just wanted to give you kind of a sample of the new film itself. That being said, I hope you enjoyed that little photo walk making some Polaroid images out in Jersey. That was a ton of fun. Finally, I do wanna say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an incredible online website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for over three years at this point and their incredibly customizable templates as well as their customer support has made it so easy to get a website up and running. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14 day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, use the code Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you so much to Squarespace for the continued support on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I upload videos every week here, so make sure you subscribe down below if you're not already. That's it for now. Peace.